Hey, Dr. Curry is here. Let's talk about GLP-1 receptor agonists being delivered in different forms. So a family member saw me over one of the weekends at a wedding and sent me this picture of a GLP-1 patch and asked me what my opinion was on it. So look, GLP-1 receptor agonists being delivered as a patch, we don't have any research. So, but if it's formulated correctly, possibly there's gonna be enough that gets absorbed through the skin. Um, it was being sold at a pretty low price. I think it's more of a gimmick than it is real medicine. If they could show some human studies that are out there, and guess what? There are none that I'm aware of. Prove me wrong, send me the link if it's in PubMed, but there is no GLP-1 receptor agonist that has approval, that has actually data behind it. I think it's a, it's a cool concept and we should probably look at it, but anything that's a patch and you're gonna absorb trans, transcutaneously or through the skin, is gonna be subject to you getting skin irritation. That's probably gonna be limiting in the long run. We've tried it with other patches and usually patients will, de will, de will develop a reaction to it. So keep that in mind. If you wanna try it, I'd rather you just save the money and go get a GLP-1 receptor agonist injectable medication and that would be better. What about the oral ones? There are oral GLP-1s. It's called ribelsis for diabetes. The weight loss is not as significant. And to tell you the truth, you know, there's so many little rules that you have to do when you take ribelsis. That's why I usually don't go to it. And plus most of most patients, in my opinion, are used to the idea of doing injection. The needle phobia has really gone down, um, at least in my practice. We're do, we do a really good job of, of coaching people through those needles. And plus those needles are small, by the way, especially if you're using like a zipping, it's like a 32 gauge needle. It's as thin as this hair here, or maybe even thinner. Um, some of the self, the, the, the single injection pens are a little bit bigger at 27 gauge. I hope that helps. I'll see you at the next video. Tubby Doc out.